dear students of msc final today we will discuss on uh, steroids which is the next unit third unit in the syllabus mentioned in the syllabus today we will talk about the general structure of steroids and some um, nomenclature steroids introduction steroids form a group of structurally related compounds which are widely distributed in animals and plants the steroids include a variety of compounds example sterols including vitamin d bile acids sex hormones adrenal cortical hormones cardiac and tort poisons generally all the hormones they are have a steroid like structure the structure of steroids are based on 1 cyclopentenophenanthrene skeleton the skeleton of steroids is same with the basic unit of containing 1 cyclopentenophenanthrene steroids vary from one and other in the nature of attached groups the position of the groups and the configuration of steroid nucleus that means a basic skeleton is the same only the difference is between the attached groups the position of the groups and the configuration of the steroid nucleus small modifications in the molecular structure of steroids can produce remarkable differences in their biological activities this is a very important point yeah. only a slight modification in the structure of steroids it makes remarkable differences in their biological activities this is benzene when we fuse two benzene rings it becomes naphthalene three fused benzene rings it is known as anthracene and this is phenanthrene nucleus only the fusion is different here this is perhydro phenanthrene saturated phenanthrene as you can see and uh, this is uh, a cyclopentene when we fuse this with uh, this uh, perhydro phenanthrene with the uh, cyclopentane we get uh, this a uh, uh, skeleton basic skeleton of steroid the numbering you can see this is a saturated mm, nucleus it contains three six membered rings saturated and one five membered saturated ring the numbering is from this end 1 2 3 4 5 this is fused one this is 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 this is the order of numbering the cycle begins from here from here to then 9 10 again 11 12 13 14 15 16 and 17 steroids another definition is uh, steroids are any class of natural or synthetic organic compounds characterized by a molecular structure of 17 carbon atoms as we have seen in the previous slide arranged in four rings consisting of three fused six membered rings and one five membered ring and the numbering is in this order which we have discussed earlier also a very important point is on distillation with selenium steroids on distillation with selenium at 300 degrees centigrade forms diels hydrocarbon this is diels hydrocarbon this is phenanthrene nucleus and cyclopentene ring with the methyl group at this position we will discuss in detail about this diels hydrocarbon on distillation with selenium at 420 degree centigrade on increasing the temperature up to 420 degree centigrade it forms chrysene and pycene the structures are as follows this is four fused six membered rings chrysene and uh, this is four five six uh, six membered rings they are fused together it is converted into pycene at 420 degree centigrade these two compounds are formed steroids 
Next we come to Diels hydrocarbon, a very important compound. It is a solid with a melting point of 126 to 127 degrees centigrade. Molecular formula is C18H16. X-ray crystal analysis and absorption spectrum measurement showed that the hydrocarbon is probably 3-methyl-1,2-cyclopentenophenan-3. This is the structure of uh, Diels hydrocarbon. The numbering is uh, Fran3 nucleus according to this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And here this is uh, 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, this cyclopentane ring. So this is Diels hydrocarbon. So this, at third position this is methyl group, 3 dash methyl. 1, 2, cyclopentino. This is the fusion of the cyclopentene ring. So, the fusion is marked by 1, 2. So, 1, 2, cyclopentino and this is phenanthrene nucleus. So, first of all the position of methyl group which is at 3 dash position and the, the point of attachment or the fusion of cyclopentene ring is mentioned here. 1, 2, cyclopentene ring and the, then the phenanthrene nucleus. The structure is confirmed by its synthesis. Here the synthesis. This uh, starting compound as you see 2 at second uh, 2 1 naphthyl 2 1 naphthyl ethyl magnesium bromide and 2 5 dimethyl cyclopentanone 1 2 3 4 5 2 5 dimethyl cyclopentanone the addition takes place resulting in the formation of this compound on uh, heating with p2o5 at 120 degree centigrade under reduced pressure this uh, water uh, molecule is dissolved resulting in the formation of a double bond here which again on cyclization of the ring takes place uh, here their bond formation takes place this bond double bond shifts here this is rearranged double bond rearrangement and then on selenium dehydrogenation it is converted into Diels hydrocarbon this is the synthesis of Diels hydrocarbon which confirms the structure of this this hydrocarbon is very important and a short note is often asked in the exams. Next we come to the nomenclature. Some uh, rings are numbered and lettered as follows. As you can see the ring is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 rings six membered a b c and d it is nomenclature and uh, then uh, the numbering is from this end 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 at 18 and 9 uh, at this uh, 10 19 position is given to the angular methyl groups and if a ring is present here then uh, you can number the side chain if it is present at R uh, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 and 29. In this way the side chain is numbered. Solid lines denote groups above the plane of the nucleus. As you can see we have taken four examples. This is the gonain structure, a strain androstane and pregnane slight difference in the structures of this only uh, i want to explain what is a beta configuration or what is alpha configuration solid lines denote the groups above the plane of the nucleus and it is the beta configuration these are the solid lines which have been shown in each these represent the above the plane group is above the plane of the nucleus and the broken lines denote the groups below the plane of the nucleus and it is known as alpha configuration this is the dash these are the dashed lines these are all be, uh, with alpha configuration broken lines if the configuration is not known then the 
bond is shown with a wavy line as you can see here in gonine it is shown by a wavy line as you can see androstane also wavy line here the configuration is not known either it is alpha or beta means the group is either present uh, above the plane or below the plane of the nucleus if some carbon atoms are missing in steroid nucleus the numbering of the remainder will not change very important point if their uh, carbon atoms are missing then the numbering will remain the same as we have seen earlier other rules are if the side chain does not contain a methylene group it is indicated by the prefix nor preceded by the number of carbon atom which is absent or disappeared here from this carbon the ch2 grip side chain is missing so this position is 23 17 18 19 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 so the prefix nor is written here 23 is the position which carbon is missing then 5 fifth position is generally mentioned it is very important to mention this fifth position the configuration at fifth position is not is shown by bb line so we have seen alpha slash beta and then this uh, this nucleus is of choline so we have written 23 nor 5 alpha beta choline next point if the steroid nucleus does not contain angular methyl group it is also indicated by the prefix nor preceded by the number designating the methyl group here at this position you can see androstane we have studied earlier also this is the structure of androstane there are two methyl groups are present here in androstane this is missing from here there is angular methyl group is absent so uh, we have used the prefix nor and the position is tan as uh, you can see here also the position is tan here from tan the angular methyl group is absent so we have written tan nor with fifth alpha beta and andro stain the nucleus is andro stain we have written andro stain if the ring contraction occurs in the steroid nucleus it is again indicated by the prefix nor preceded by the capital letter indicating the ring affected here you can see this a ring has contracted it has become five numbers so we have again used the prefix nor with the numbering a ring is uh, has which has contracted so we have shown it with a then five alpha beta there here the configuration is wavy alpha beta and androstein yeah. next is if there is ring enlargement in the steroid nucleus it is indicated by the prefix homo preceded by the capital letter indicating the ring affected as you can see a b b ring the b ring has become seven membered one two three four five six seven so this is represented by homo ring enlargement preceded by the ring which is affected is b ring 5 alpha beta and there here it is ethyl group is present so this is pregnant nucleus so 5 homo b homo sorry b homo 5 alpha beta pregnant if there is ring fission it is indicated by the prefix seco here you can see at uh, ring this is a a ring has uh, there is fission this has uh, bond is uh, missing here so it is indicated by sacco and the position is one two three four five two three the ring preceded by the position of bond breakage the position of bond breakage is two three so we have represented here two three sacco five alpha beta 5 at fifth position the configuration is to be written uh, and those this is wavy configuration alpha beta can be alpha or beta the group can be above or the below androstane the nucleus is androstane 2 3 dioic 
as said. So the complete name is written here. This is all about the nomenclature. Some important points I have highlighted the where to use the prefix nor, seco, homo. This is all the, and the basic numbering and the general rules we have discussed here. In the next lecture, we will consider about the stereochemistry of steroids. Thank you.